हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ पॉइंट रेनफॉल फ्रीक्वेंसी एनालिसिस ऑफ रेनफॉल हेल्प्स इन डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ प्रेडिक्टिंग द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑकरेंस ऑफ फ्लड इन एनी पर्टिकुलर रीजन फ्रीक्वेंसी एनालिसिस इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम द व्यू पॉइंट ऑफ फ्लड रीओकरेंस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज frequency of point rainfall in many hydraulic engineering applications such as those concerned with floods the probability of occurrence of a particular extreme rainfall example a 24 hour maximum rainfall will be of importance such information is obtained by the frequency analysis of the point rainfall data the rainfall at a place is a random hydrologic process and a sequence of rainfall data at a place when arranged in chronological order constitutes a time series one of the commonly used data series is the annual series composed of annual values such as annual rainfall if the extreme values of a specified event occurring in a year is listed is also constitutes an annual series thus for example one may list the maximum 24 hour rainfall occurring in a year at a station to prepare an annual series of 24 hour maximum rainfall values the probability of occurrence of an event in this series is studied by frequency analysis of this annual data series first it is necessary to correctly understand the terminology used in frequency analysis the probability of occurrence of an event of a random variable example rainfall whose magnitude is equal to or in excess of a specified magnitude x is denoted by p so here probability of occurrence of the event is denoted by p so what is the event event is a random variable for example rainfall which is having magnitude x so probability of occurrence of an event if its magnitude is equal to or greater than x is denoted by p the recurrence interval also known as return period capital t is defined as t it is equal to 1 upon p so return period is equal to reciprocal of probability this represents the average interval between the occurrence of a rainfall of magnitude equal to or greater than x so this formula helps us to find out the recurrence interval or return period of a rainfall of a specific intensity thus if it is stated that the return period of a rainfall of 20 cm in 24 hour is 10 years at a certain station a it implies that on an average rainfall magnitudes equal to or greater than 20 cm in 24 hour occurs once in 10 years that is in a long period of say 100 years 10 such events can be expected however it does not mean that every 10 years one such event is likely that is periodicity is not implied means what if a rainfall of 20 cm occurs in 10 years at station a at a particular station a if the 24 hour rainfall it has a reoccurrence after 10 years it is 20 cm means what it is likely that in 100 years 10 such events can be ex expected however it does not mean that every 10 years one such event is likely that is periodicity it is not implied the probability of a rainfall of 20 cm in 24 hour occurring in any one year at station a is 1 upon t is equal to 1 upon 10 10 is the return period so the probability will come out as 0.1 means what there is 0.1 
probability of occurrence of an event which will have maximum 24 hour rainfall as 20 centimeter if the probability of an event occurring is capital p the probability of the event non occurring in a given year is small q which is equal to 1 minus p the binomial distribution can be used to find the probability of occurrence of event r times in n successive years thus with the help of these formula you can find out the probability of occurrence of the event r times in n successive years so here p r comma n r represents the timings number of times the event is likely to occur and n represents in how many number of years you are going to find out the probability of occurrence of that particular event so p r n is it is equal to n c r p r q raised to n minus r which is further equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial p raised to r into q raised to n minus r where p r n is equal to probability of random hydrologic event of given magnitude and excellence probability p occurring r times in n successive years thus for example the probability of an event of excellence probability p occurring two times in n successive years so here r will be replaced by 2 in the formula so p 2 n is equal to n factorial upon n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial p raised to 2 q raised to n minus 2 means what here it is expected to find the pro probability of occurring of an event in n years how many times two times the probability of the event not occurring at all in n successive years so not occurring at all means what zero timings so p 0 n is equal to q raised to n which is equal to 1 minus p raised to n the probability of event occurring at least once in n successive years so p 1 is equal to 1 minus q raised to n which is equal to 1 minus into bracket 1 minus p raised to n so let us understand this with the help of one example here is a numerical analysis of data on maximum one day rainfall depth maximum one day rainfall depth at chennai indicated that a depth of 300 mm had a return period of 50 years so in 50 years the 50 years is the return period of what of the event of occurrence of rainfall having 300 mm depth so it is asked to determine the probability of one day rainfall depth equal to or greater than 300 mm at chennai occurring first case once in 20 successive years so once means what r is equal to 1 n is equal to 20 2 times in 15 successive years 2 times means what r is equal to 2 and n is equal to 15 and lastly at least once in 20 successive years so here n is equal to 20 r is equal to 1 so here probability p is equal to 1 upon 50 return period it is given as 50 so 1 upon t it is equal to 1 upon 50 it is equal to 0 0.02 q probability of non occurrence of the event is which is equal to 1 minus p which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.02 which is equal to 0 0.98 so by using the general equation p r n is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial multiplied by p raised to r q raised to n minus r so here in the first case r is equal to 1 once in a 20 successive years so r equal to 1 and n is it is equal to 20 if you put the values and calculate you will find that the probability of occurrence of the event having rainfall equal to or more than 300 mm for 
for a day so it will be equal to 0.272 second case two times in 15 successive years so r is equal to 2 n is equal to 15 if you put the values you will get the probability as 0.323 and lastly the probability of occurrence of the event at least once in 20 successive years so here p1 is equal to 1 minus q raised to n which is equal to 1 minus 1 minus p raised to n which is further equal to 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.02 raised to n is how much 20 so it will come out as 0 0.32 so these value indicate the chances or likeliness of the happening of the event as per the question it is asked so i hope you have understood the numerical while solving some more numerical you will thoroughly understand the concept of frequency of point rainfall i request all of you go, to go through the standard references if you are ha having any doubt you can ask me on my email dnpaitankarce at sanjeevani.org.in thank you for listening happy learning